Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get your higher quality audio from your DAW for in this example is Logic Pro into OBS, uh, which you can use to stream on Twitch or on YouTube or Ustream or whatever you prefer. Um, so the process is fairly simple, just a few steps to it. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have Soundflower installed. There are a ton of other videos that go through how to download that and get that installed and uh, you can definitely find those. So once you have Soundflower ready to go, restart your computer. And what you want to do is open up Audio MIDI Setup. I have a shortcut here. If you don't have the shortcut, go to Applications, open the Utilities subfolder, and you'll see Audio MIDI Setup there. Um, basically what you need to do is create an aggregate device which is going to combine your microphone and Soundflower into one concise device. and you might have a microphone like the Blue Snowball, Blue Yeti. You might have a, a recording interface. Uh, for example, I have a, a Motu interface. It's got uh, eight inputs, eight outputs, and that's basically what I'm using. Um, but either way, uh, that, that device is going to get combined with Soundflower, and you're going to be able to use them simultaneously. Uh, in order to do that, hit the plus sign down here at the bottom. Create aggregate device. I'm not going to click it now because I've already made one. Basically, when you create it, it lets you choose which of your audio devices here on the right-hand side you want to use in this new aggregate device. Um, if you need to use your headphone jack from your Mac, you want to select built-in output. But for me, I have my Motu Traveler, which is all my microphones, and then the Soundflower, and they are combined. And you can note up here which inputs are which. The Soundflower is in blue, so that means my input and output for Soundflower is going to be 23 and 24. All the way at the end so once this is ready i'm going back to logic uh you can do this with GarageBand. you can do this with logic you can do this with audition any other uh, daw that you might have so in logic pro i'll go to the logic menu hit preferences hit audio and i want to make sure that my devices are set to the new aggregate device i named mine mo2 plus soundflower just for easy reference you can rename yours so i'll make sure that's set apply changes and wait for it to reset now in order to get your audio into OBS there's two ways to do it one way if you only have say a USB microphone you won't be able to actually hear what is coming into the microphone and then into OBS at the same time uh, because you only have one input and output and there's no way to reroute anything which I'll talk about in a second um, so you can check your levels and make sure that your your vocals aren't too hot or too soft but unfortunately you won't be able to actually monitor that if all you have is a USB microphone if you have an interface like I said I had the Motu let me actually pull that up if you in case you aren't familiar with what an interface actually is let's do that really quick so here's a good example the focus right I recommend this to a lot of people. Boom. So this is my interface. I have the mic input and then I have outputs in the back. So if you have an interface, what you can do and what I've done here in Logic, I'll show you, um, is I've rerouted some things on the interface itself. So let's go through this channel strip thing here. So what I've done is I've sent all my tracks out, output five and six. On the back of my interface, I've taken that output 5 and 6, and I've rerouted it into the input 5 and 6. So follow me here. Now I have three auxiliary tracks that are all receiving the master signal that I'm sending from my microphones. And for, from here, I've sent one to my stereo output, which is my headphones, so that I can hear myself. I've sent one to an extra pair of headphones in case I have multiple people in the room. And then I've sent the last one to 23 and 24, which is Soundflower. So everything that is getting played in Logic, when I play through this, when I record, when I do my podcast, it's all getting sent to my headphones and to Soundflower at the same time. I know that seems a little complicated, but if you have at least four inputs on your, four inputs and outputs on your interface, you can do the same type of setup. So this will allow you to not only hear what you're recording, but it'll it allow you to mix in real time. I have a bunch of plugins here to make my voice sound a lot better than it normally would. And then you can send this to OBS all at the same time. 
Um, again, if you don't have as uh, detailed of a setup, if you don't have an interface, all you have to do is send all of your outputs to Soundflower, which in this case is 23 and 24. And then the audio is going to be going through Soundflower. So let me just let this play for a second. And then finally, let's go to OBS. Uh, you can see I'm already receiving a signal from Soundflower because that's what I'm using. Now, when I have it set up this way, I'm going to go my settings here. Hello, what and audio. We here? I have multiple options for devices here. I'm only using one because I have everything routed first in Logic and then it's coming into OBS. So I'm controlling everything in Logic and OBS is just receiving a signal. So all I have is my main desktop audio device is set to receive input from Soundflower and that's all that I need to change. I don't need to add anything else because I'm all routing it inside my DAW. Again, you can do that with Audition or GarageBand or whatever you need. So you can see I'm, I'm receiving that signal. If I turn things up here, uh, the signal will go up, et cetera, et cetera. And here it is, 23 and 24. Now you can see it's a little bit louder, and if I crank it, it goes. Um, so this is the basic setup to get the audio. This, I'm not talking about video or anything. This, Get your audio.